Welcome to Adobe Illustrator and this is your introduction to this uh, first of the Adobe Creative Suite programs that we'll learn how to use. Um, so this is going to give you a little bit about the workspace, some of the basics um, to set you guys up for success as we start to explore some of the tools more in depth. Now one of the great things about these programs is that the workspace is um, organized very similarly so as we learn about Illustrator and then once we get in Photoshop things are gonna look a lot the same and a lot of the tools are gonna act in the same way so um, once you guys get this you'll be able to transfer this knowledge into the other programs that we learn how to use so AI or Adobe Illustrator this is a vector drawing program used to create multimedia projects I want to break down a couple of these words the first being uh, multimedia this means that we're going to be making stuff on here that could be used for different um, kind of formats. So we can do stuff that involves printing and stuff that's just meant for screen view. So some examples of printed projects that are made on this program would be like book covers, t-shirt designs. Examples of things made on this program that are just for screen view might be things that you see on TV, on your computer screen, websites. Um, now in this program you can't necessarily build a website in, with like working hyperlinks, but you can build all the graphics that would be put into, um, into those programs to, to build websites. So, um, now vector. This is a vector drawing program. And so there's an example of a vector image and um, you'll see from far away this image it's a star right and we see that up close vector is the opposite of raster and so here's that same image zoomed in and you'll see how it's made out of all these pixels so in a raster image like a photograph or something that you make in Photoshop um, you're going to be able to see as you zoom in all of these pixels that um, are based on this grid that make up this star in AI, this is a vector drawing program. So no matter how closely you zoom in, you're going to see those curved lines because everything that you make in this program is built using paths. So um, you're gonna get a different result, a very crisp, clean, um, clear image. So I'm gonna take you over to the program itself. The demos I do are on a Mac, and I do um, greatly apologize for that because you guys are going to be using Windows computers. Um, you'll get used to it eventually. So, okay, here is Adobe Illustrator. When you're going to open up a new program, you would, or I'm sorry, not a program, a uh, document, you would do File New. And here we have a couple of options that I want you to think about as you are planning um, what you're going to be doing. And so here's where the name would be. So for this one, I'll just call it practice. So we have some um, presets here, uh, the profile. So is this for print? Is this for web? Um, any of these extra things are a little bit more advanced and we won't necessarily be going through those right now. So um, I guess what I'm doing now isn't going to be um, for web or print. You'll notice how your options change as you change that because the way that the computer thinks about colors and sizes is different for print than it is for web. Um, so I'll go into print because here we have um, things that might you might recognize. So the size of your paper or your canvas that you'll be working on, letter that's your 8.5 by 12, um, tabloid is as large as we can print here at school and that's 11 by 14 um, and then these are other um, popular sizes of paper that designers use now I wanna move over here to the units um, points picas inches and so forth these are all different ways to measure size and for you guys inches probably makes the most sense um, if you were to explore graphic arts uh, further, you would probably start to work more in um, points and picas and that kind of thing. Um, anyways, and then orientation is another way. So we have the um, portrait style, up and down, or landscape style, side to side. 
Um, I like to work in landscape for what we're going to be doing here. Um, these are all more advanced options that you guys don't need to deal with right now. So, so that's opening up a document. Just quickly, <clears throat> when you do, uh, I'm sorry, that's starting a new document. When you need to open a new document, you just go to File, Open, and you search for the document that you were working on. Now, another great thing is that if you have something that you've recently been doing in this program, you should be able to go into Open Recent Files and open that up there as well. Okay, so let me give you a little tour of our um, site here. Let me get myself organized. Okay, so, um, and you can follow along in your handout as well. Okay, so this is your workspace. So up here, um, I think on your, on your manual, this is uh, four. And this is your menu bar, very similar to any other sort of uh, computer application program that you've used. Over here, we have your toolbox. Here's all the fun stuff. Um, think of this as an area that you go to grab a tool and then use over here. It's not a matter of like dragging it out and, and pulling it onto the page. It's more so you're picking up this tool and then using it on your um, artboard, which is what this is. Think of this as your canvas. If I were to zoom out, this black line right here represents the edge of your um, canvas or your paper, your artboard. And then all of this space around here um, kind of equals like your table, the surface that you work on. So if I were to draw a rectangle that, um, let me give this a color so you can see it, um, that goes off of this page this will not print over here from this black line on. So something to be aware of. Um, I, I oftentimes use this table area <clears throat> to kind of work out a design or work out a text or something, and then I'll bring it into my uh, artboard. It's a really uh, good way for me to just kind of work on a uh, simple uh, place over there. Anyways, OK. So, up top here we have your um, control panel, and depending on what tool you have so you have selected, you'll no notice that some that the options then will change up here. So then all of those options that change deal with whatever tool that you currently have in hand. Um, and then over here we have our panels. These are um, also another way to access options for each tool. Um, and so this is an area that you can customize. You can, make, you can make it so that none of these things appear. And then they all get nested within this kind of main clump right there. But you can also customize it by opening up underneath window here. So I know that I always love to have type my characters open and it'll open back up again color and swatches. So this is all totally customizable. You can pull these out if these are um, nested within each other. And maybe I'll want to put my character next to my paragraph. That would make sense. That kind of thing. So like open type, I don't use that a lot. Maybe I'll just make that go away. So as you guys get more acquainted with um, panels, you'll be able to customize this according to what you need. Um, so that's kind of your workspace here, how it's laid out. Um, I want to bring you into a couple of basics. And so like I said, this is a vector drawing program. So things are made based on paths. I'm going to change the color of this here so that you can see it better. Maybe a little darker. Not that dark, sorry. Okay, so um, if I zoom in here, I want you to see these. Um, this blue box that is around here, this is called the bounding box. And this is going to, everything within this box is all one specific shape or line or whatnot. Um, now, these blue points right here, see how it says anchor right, right there? Anchor anchor. Um, these are all the anchor points that make up this shape. Now as I 
uh, uh, just kind of hover over this line here, that's a path. And that's the path that connects these anchor points, like so, to create our um, shape. Now, there's some important tools up here. These are our two selection tools. There's two options. The black selection tool, it's just called the selection tool. Um, this is our tool that allows us to rotate if we grab it from the corner. We can, stre we can stretch it. We can make it smaller. If you hold down the shift key while doing that, it'll make it smaller and larger in proportion. Good tip. Um, this, no matter where you grab, if I grab it here, if I grab that star right there, or right in the middle, it's going to grab that entire shape. Now, if I grab my direct select tool, there, and now we don't see that bounding box anymore because this is a tool um, that allows you to alter the anchor points. I gotta click off to reset it. Um, now I can grab that anchor point and I can adjust that and modify that shape into something completely different. Now to take that a step further, there's um, these little anchor points also have handlebars. And so if I skip down here into my pen tool and I click on that convert an anchor point tool, I can take that anchor point and now like imagine um, to, uh, it's like I, it's almost like I need to break it <laughs> sort of so that I can open that up. And now I have these two handlebars that I can take my direct select tool and I can adjust those, pull them out pivot them to really create a customized shape. So this used to be a, uh, sorry, a star. And um, you can start to build um, something completely unique. So um, that is what those are. Um, the other kind of really basic thing that's good to know is stroke and fill. So right now I have this filled with this kind of um, yellow-ish color. And so this box right here that's filled in, that's the fill. So that's the, you know, what the color uh, is of the shape. Now if I click on this uh, kind of outlined box, right now it has a red stroke on it. That is because it doesn't have a stroke. But as long as I have that up front, I can come over here and I, I can pick a different color. Now this sh shape actually has a pink stroke. It's a good color combination, by the way. Um, now you guys probably can't really see it very well on the screen, so I'm going to go up here. Stroke is how thick that line is there. Now you can really see that. And so um, in here, if I wanted to make this not be filled with any color, I would grab that fill box and I'd click on that X, uh, the, the red uh, none option so that it wouldn't have a fill. So just to take you a step forward, now if I had another shape that I did have filled, and let's say I had that behind that one, notice how it's it's not filled, so it's completely transparent. You would be able to see through that, that shape. It's just a line at this point. So, okay. Anyways, um, now another thing that's kind of neat is that you can easily flop those two. So if I want to flop the fill with the stroke, the colors, I can go like that. So, um, all right. Those are kind of some of the basics, uh, good things to know. And next up, I'm going to tell you about layers. So stay tuned.